Sachiko from Tipsy. Welcome to your new sake box. Of course, sake goes well with Japanese food, but today we're gonna try some new pairings. The first sake that we're gonna try is the Yaemon Tsukiyakari Junmai Nigori. This is from a brewery that was founded in 1790. That's back when samurais were walking around and there were castles being built in Japan. Nigori means cloudy, and this one is a Usu Nigori, which is a lightly cloudy version. There's different degrees of cloudiness, and there's also different degrees of sweetness you'll find in this type of sake. All the sweetness is natural. It's actually the starch from the rice that gets converted into the sugars. I'm gonna have it in a dessert wine glass, but you can also enjoy it with a slice of lemon, splash of soda, and even on the rocks. The really fun thing about pairing with sweet sake like this is that it's super versatile. It can pair with something like ice cream or cheesecake because it can stand its own with this sweetness pairing. And it also can go with spicy snacks like the chili lime chips, like this one. There's always lactic acid in sake, but the lactic acid that's present in this that gives it a little bit of the yogurt note neutralizes some of the spicy, like really strong flavors. So it kind of enhances each other and that's why I like this pairing. Our next sake is called Born Junsui, Junmai Daiginjo. Junsui means pure, and Junmai Daiginjo means that there's no brewer's alcohol added, and it uses highly polished rice. The makers of Born used to be money merchants back in the day, and they became famous when they started making sake that services the imperial court. In their fermentation room, they play Mozart 24-7, for good vibrations so that the sake ends up being as elegant as possible. I like to have this in a stem glass because I don't want to warm it up while I'm having it. It has very delicate white flower and a pear and honeydew melon. Very sort of sweet and fragrant on the nose. My favorite pairing with this is something like the pear and gorgonzola salad with candied walnuts. The pear goes really well with the pear notes that it already has, and the candied walnuts marries really well with like the sweetness that comes from the rice. This is a nice sake to try with chilled foods, appetizers, like caprese salad or cured meats. This is a sake that anybody can enjoy that's elegant and will kind of add the Mozart <laughs> to your dinner. This sake is called Otokoyama. It's a Tokubetsu Junmai is the category of the sake. This is a really well-loved sake in Japan. Often people that are looking for dry sake go to this one. I'm gonna have it in a stemless wine glass because I like that it warms up to room temperature and the impression of the sake changes as it warms up. It's a dry sake that can be enjoyed warm, but it also has this minerality that comes out when it's in lower temperature and the subtle sweetness that it has pairs really well with roasted vegetables like roasted Brussels sprouts with Parmesan. Parmesan also has this umami to it that sake has, and umami and umami combined together in your mouth is like this never-ending addition of explosion of flavor. This widely loved sake is for any occasion. This sake is called Zuiyo Hojun Junmai. The brewery was founded in 1867, so it's been in business for over 150 years. It comes from the southern part of Japan in a prefecture called Kumamoto. This region is known for their thicker, sweeter soy sauce. And hojun in Japanese means really rich, so this is gonna have rich mouthfeel to it. I'm having it in a red wine glass because I want it to open up a little bit 
and you can even warm it up with your hands if you want the sweetness to be enhanced. This sake and how rich it is and also has that umami that we talked about goes really well with slow cooked meat like roast beef. This roast beef has the mushroom gravy on it that even adds more layers to that umami flavor. That rich, deep soy saucy notes from this roast beef really marries well with the nuttiness of this sake. So when sake is colder, the acidity is enhanced more, so it's gonna have more of a sharp um, brightness to it. Whereas when it warms up, the sweetness is enhanced. The nutty notes come out more and it has more of a mellow impact on your tongue. This next sake is called Kambara, Bride of the Fox. The name Bride of the Fox is taken from the folklore, <laughs> folklore, folklore. The name is taken from a local folklore of the Fox Bride procession, and they have a annual Fox Bride festival every year there. Foxes in that area have a relationship to the god of rice. So whenever they had a fox sighting in the area, they knew that they were gonna have bountiful rice harvest that year. I'm having this one in a stemless wine glass because I like how this warms up in my hand. It has this rich, nuttiness to this and it stands a strong food pairing. This savory sake is going to pair well with roast ham and pineapple, even some buttery cod and sweet and sour pork. It even pairs well with something classic like fried chicken. When you pair sake that has this nutty savory note with a spicy chicken that has that juicy juice inside, it brings out the subtle sweetness to it and the vinegar from the sweet pickle marries really well with the slight acidity that this sake has. I like the idea of having this for casual gatherings because it goes well with anything that goes with beer. This last sake is called Jinyu 100 Poems. 100 Poems is a classical Japanese anthology of 100 poems by 100 poets. It celebrates the Japanese history and the playfulness of poems, also how sake resonates with people. This sake comes from a brewery in Chiba Prefecture that was founded in 1689. That is more than 300 years old. I'm having it in a dessert wine glass because I wanted to enjoy it with a savory dessert that I'm having, which is the baked brie with raspberry compote. The subtle sweetness from the rice never fights with food, therefore makes it really easy to pair with many dishes. So baked brie with the raspberry compote has that combination of the savory and the sweet that this sake has as well. Sake is really versatile and it can pair with anything from appetizer to dessert. Also, you can match the temperature of the sake with the temperature of the dish that makes it even more versatile. This is a sake that's easy going that just about anybody will like. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the tipsy sake box with some delicious foods. Again, I'm Sachiko, kanpai.